scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog podcast, actually talking about Doctor Who for a change. Oh, yeah. The Evil One, Tom Baker, Series 3, Stories 4, is one of the single loveliest pieces of Doctor Who we've had in a long time. The basic premise is, however, not the strongest. There is a sort of Mary Celeste spaceship, a massive luxury liner that is completely deserted. Of course, A deserted luxury liner is easier to populate on audio than a full one. Various characters turn up. And of course, there is a mysterious investigator. The fact that the master turns up on the front of the box. Now, the evil one is the name given by Leela, tribe of the Sever team, the Sever team itself, name for the fourth doctor, the giant stone head. But if you've already seen those stories, you understand all this. Now, I thought that this was going to be a very different story. The story that I thought this was going to be was the origin story for the Zoanan computer. How the Fourth Doctor managed to influence time. Because if you think about it, the Fourth Doctor at no point is seen without a companion. Up to the point where this story happens. So the chances are the Fourth Doctor's story is actually either set in the future after the events of Leela's first story, or it's an unseen story earlier. Now, according to the discontinuity guide, the only time this could have happened was either during his post-regeneration sequence, when he disappears off in the TARDIS and comes back, which is actually more likely because you end up with a split personality computer, which would have been a copy of the Doctor's mind after his regeneration. That kind of makes sense. Or you've got one set in the future. Now, this is a big Finnish story called The Evil One, so I'm expecting definitions and the enactment of how the Sever team end up with their repaired computer and Leela trying to stop the events of time and that kind of thing. That is so not what we get here. What we get here is the master trying to manipulate Leela. One thing that I would like to see is, obviously, it's Jeffrey Beaver's version of the master. Don't you think that we deserve as possibly a Christmas disc a nice two masters story where you've got the modern master from Dark Eyes versus this Beaver's master or teaming up or taking each other on in order to win some sort of universal domination thing. I, for one, would love that. It would be so funny. The three masters. You can get some... No, don't get anyone from anywhere from America. I'm, I'm talking nonsense. I suppose you could. No, you can't. You can't. You genuinely can't. You genuinely can't get Eric Roberts in here as well to do the Three Masters. Tom trying to solve a particularly boring crime. And Leela having a lot of inner turmoil. Leela's inner turmoil is perhaps at the core of this. This is what makes this story great. If you are a Louise Jameson fan, this is a brilliant tale to undergo. To listen to. However, one of the things that is worthy of mentioning is that there's a certain story out there the Sunmakers, which has a guy from Blake 7 in it. The guy from Blake 7 is Villa. And in this story, the guy from Blake 7 who played Villa meets the fourth Doctor and Layla. And in that story, he meets the fourth Doctor and Layla. Now, obviously, people get to reappear in Doctor Who after they've been in it. Mr Capaldi, I am looking at you. However, I do think it's odd that the guy who's been in a story with the two leads, which takes place possibly around the same time, canonically speaking, gets to appear in this one. I'm not saying the performances are bad, but he does have a very specific voice. It's very nice that people from Blake 7 are turning up in this. But don't you just want the people from Blake 7 to be in a nice Dalek War spin-off? I'm sure those unfinished, unmade Terry Nation scripts exist out there somewhere. I really must get round to reviewing the Blake 7 big finished stories. They are superb. So yes, not the greatest of stories narrative-wise, but actors-wise and characterization wise spot on. If you like Louise Jameson, this is one to pick up. You don't need to hear the ones around it, but if you want to hear some lovely performances, you go for it. 
This is the one. So until next time, here's the trailer and be seeing you. Be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions, the fourth Doctor Adventures. Doctor Who, the evil one. Obey me. I've just walked through half the aft section of passenger staterooms and lounges. Not a soul to be seen. Where are you now? I take it you'll be checking the cargo hold. Nobody about. Doctor, look out! Hands up! Don't worry, Micah, I've got them covered. Ah, hello now, you definitely are awake. Who are you? What are you doing here? Doctor, come and look. What the hell are they? Metal insects. The size of men. Yes. Bigger. Right. Now then. Shut up! Micah, where's Alensis? What? Nina, get down! What is happening? Micah! Ah, uh, sorry, wrong floor, my mistake. If you come with us, you will live. Really? Enjoy your questions, Doctor. They are all you have left. This Doctor is heading for his TARDIS. And there he will die. Activate your weapon. You are the master, and any enemy of the Doctor's is an enemy of mine. I shall destroy you both now! Subscribers get more at bigfinish.com. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its connected properties are copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. Hoostrology, a time traveller's almanac, is available through Telos Publishing or Amazon. Visit www.hoostrology.com for further information. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Mm-hmm.